a lot to talk about. And, you know, the nature of the Democratic Party, the nature of the political change that's happening in the United States. I think that the Democratic Party right now, uh, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders together are leading a fundamental transformation in this country. Bernie's a little ahead of Hillary, in my opinion, on this. Um, you know, I mean, he's always been there and she's kind of coming to there. But it, it sure looks to me like the the corporate Democratic Party of Al Fromm that took the White House in 92. And it might have been the time to do it. Right. I mean, Al Fromm and Bill Clinton might have been right. That was the only way for Democrats to win. I, I personally, excuse me, I personally don't think so. But it may well be. And in '92, I was I was running a business. I was I was running an ad agency in in, in Atlanta, and I was only kind of half paying attention to politics. And so, you know, I might just be totally wrong. But whatever back then, right now, I am watching, and I think you know we we all are watching fundamental political change in this country. The Republican Party is becoming more and more like the hard right parties of Europe. It's becoming xenophobic. It's becoming filled with hatred. It's becoming filled with fear. It's becoming like Marie Le Pen's National Front in France. It's it's becoming you know like uh, I forget the name of the party in uh, in Greece where they they use the swastika. Uh, no, Syriza is the good guys. Um, but there's there's a party in Greece that's got the same you know the same kind of stuff and and they're they're popping up all over Europe. Our Republican Party is moving not to the right but to the right. <laughs> Golden Dawn is the thank you, Shano, is the party in Greece. Um, and the Democratic Party is moving back to, you know, some of them kicking and screaming, some of them very slowly, and some of them in very safe districts where they get a lot of money from, from their donors. Not going to happen, you know, in a couple of election cycles. But the Democratic Party looks to me like they're moving steadily and, uh, and frankly, rapidly given, you know, political timescales. Back to the core of the Democratic Party, which was established by Franklin Roosevelt with the New Deal and amplified by Lyndon Johnson. And it really didn't start getting taken apart until the last two years of the Carter administration. And then, you know, uh, it, it didn't get taken apart. It got changed somewhat from the party of labor and working people exclusively to the party of labor, working people and businesses that we can do business with. And I think, frankly, what, what Democrats are figuring out, many Democrats, is that the businesses that we thought we could do business with, <laughs> you can't do business with them. Because business people, you know, corporations have a, a primary motive, and it's not what's best for the nation. If it was, they wouldn't be doing these, these inversions and moving overseas like, uh, you know, uh, what's the company Johnson Controls just did? Um, or like Tyco did. I mean, they they wouldn't be they wouldn't be stashing you know a, a trillion dollars in in cash or a hundred billion dollars in cash overseas so they don't have to pay taxes for it the way Apple did, and and many other companies. I mean, this is not just a couple of bad companies. This is standard operating practice among the thousand largest companies in the United States. They're all stealing from us essentially, or they're all not fulfilling their obligations as citizens, as corporate citizens of the United States. Or they're not even, many of them have even renounced their United States citizenship, but they still want you and me to pay for their fire department and their police department and their streets that bring them their customers. And frankly, they still want you and me to be their customers, but they're saying to you and me, screw you guys, we're not going to pay our taxes. And, and I'm watching a, a political revolution happening. Bernie Sanders is calling for it. I'm actually seeing it happen. And what's so exciting, in my mind, is that it's happening in the generation of my children and the, and the people younger than them. My kids are in their 30s, and, 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 the, and people in their teens and their 20s are waking up as well. And uh, it's just, I, I, this, this is, you know, I could do, die tomorrow confident that in this next generation, we are going to see this country more rapidly begin to achieve its potential, which was so badly damaged by the criminals of the Bush administration. 
and by the, uh, well, frankly, by the criminals of the Reagan administration. More members of the Reagan administration, senior members of the Reagan administration, were indicted or convicted of felonies than any administration in the history of the United States. The most criminal administration in the history of the United States was the Reagan administration. And, you know, although you could argue that the, 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 the magnitude of the crimes, the horrors of the crimes, were exceeded in the Bush administration, the W administration. And uh, so, anyway, I think, I think we're moving. We're moving in the right direction. I think it's a good thing. And I think that the third way, you know, they disbanded it. They moved all the papers to the Clinton Library. And now they got, or the uh, DLC rather, now they got this thing called the third way. And it's kind of dying out. And now what it is, much like the Tea Party is dying out on the Republican side, what's happened is the outsiders who came in to try and take over the party, or who arguably did take over the party, Tea Party with the Republicans, DLC third way with the Democrats, the parties are starting to reject them. It's almost like a... uh, a, a bacterial infection, you know, and the body is now saying enough already, uh, you know, we're, we're going to, uh, our immune system is going to kick in. I think that's what's happening. You're listening to the Tom Hartman program Call 202-536-2370. And I'm really excited about it. And the next step now is to start building some progressive media infrastructure. We'll be back. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.